Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and this is a screencast to show you how um, to use jsconsole.com to remotely debug um, any other website, but in any other browser or any other device. So uh, this is a tool I built to just run a bit of uh, JavaScript in a kind of a like a a, 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 a domless um, JavaScript console. So I can you know run a calculation or um, do something like document dot title, um, and actually just run arbitrary JavaScript. But I've now added a feature that allows me to connect this console to any other window. So you start off by doing listen, and when you execute that command, it will give you an ID back. That ID is unique, and you can use that to connect to this console. If you use that ID in your web page. Um, you can now run arbitrary command, uh, commands from this console into that web page onto that device, or you, uh, any console.logs will be sent into uh, this console. So I've set up, um, you can also set your own string, so you can create your own unique ID if you want to keep it private, um, maybe for debugging, or uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I've set up one called Remy. So now this console isn't listening for any um, um, calls to the Remy ID. So in Opera I've got this uh, test page set up um, index 2 on full frontal. If I refresh this has got a connection to this uh, JS console with the ID of Remy and you can see connection established with Opera. Okay so if I look at the, the source code here down at the bottom I've got um, uh, a script pointing to jsconsole.com slash remote.js question mark and then the ID and the ID in my case is Remy. Now obviously if you put this live it means that people can actually inject code straight into your website so you don't want to be doing that. This is purely for development. So now that I have a connection to uh, this browser I can um, any console at logs that are inside of Opera will be sent to uh, this console um, but we can test this by doing uh, document dot title. Okay, so that's given me the title from this document. We can also change the document title. Okay, you can see up here, this is just a test. Now I've loaded this page with jQuery, which means I should be able to actually change um, the H2. So text my conference. So this is actually going off and um, going via the JS console server, sending the command down to uh, the browser that's connected, and then that takes the response and sends it all the way back. And when you do a jQuery call, obviously the jQuery object comes back, which is this, but also it's changed the text here. So that's um, debugging uh, just a straightforward browser. What's really cool about this now is that you can use it to debug uh, mobile devices. So if I uh, go back into uh, JS Console, if I just refresh, it'll ditch the connection I've currently got. And if I do um, listen Remy again, and then on the mobile device, if I do, if I refresh the, uh, the same browser, uh, the same window on the mobile device, I'm now able to connect to um, uh, this this console, and you can see that the connection has been established via um, an Android device, the Nexus One here. And now I can run just an arbitrary command like an alert testing, and now that alert box has popped up onto the Android. Hit OK, and it comes back to um, the script debugger. It also means that I can run console logs inside of my mobile device and it will echo out into this console which means I've got one debugging uh, platform for my Android, my webOS, my um, iPhone, um, the different browsers and so on. Again, you can inject commands straight into the browser so really this is, um, this is purely for development but um, it's still kind of early development but it's available in live.js.console.com so have a look and thank you for watching.